Hey everybody, Dayo really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Gakuin Club. Along Toma Sakai's route. So we found out he used to model as a female when he was a child. An old model friend of his has been coming around and honestly, to me, he seems friendly about it. I think he is trying to help him. I could be reading it wrong. Maybe he is picking on him, but it seemed like he's trying to help him to me. I guess maybe he's just embarrassed about that part of his life or something. Let's see if he'll say anything to us about that at some point soon. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Even now, the dorm's common area is filled with student groups discussing the school festival. Oh, hey, did you hear? Hmm? What? About the school festival's tea room members. Tea room? What's that? You don't know? Didn't you vote? Vote? Was there an election? Isn't the student council election not for a while yet? I've been so busy with my school studies and work at the nightclub that I guess I've missed a few things at school. My friend is just looking at me in disbelief. Sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. So, what is it? Can you tell me? Our school has a tradition of putting on a beauty pageant during the school festival. But they also have a boys' counterpart too. Oh, cool! Do they have a swimsuit competition for it? The school holds a popularity contest beforehand and the Chosen Boys will go on to work at the festival's tea room. Tea room? Is it like... a cafe? That's right. They do it in the rear garden. It's really popular every year. And who's going to be in it? <laughs> Are you ready? It's Yamaoka, Kamiki, Minakawa, Sakai, Takizawa, and Kagurazaka. Ah, all the dateable guys on my menu. What a surprise. Wait, are those six... They're everyone that works at the nightclub. W wow! Everyone continues to talk about the school's festival excitedly. I can tell it's going to be a busy day. Apparently, those chosen for the tea room have to make the preparations for it themselves. The nightclub will actually be closed for a few days before the school festival begins, so we use that extra time to prepare. Toma, Minakawa, do you think these are enough coasters? It may have been a coincidence, but it was really convenient that these members were chosen. Was it really convenient, or was it rigged? I am helping with the preparations as well, and it's nice that I can ask any of them when I have any questions. As I get the coasters, teas, and snacks ready, I look up at Toma, who seems rather detached. Everyone else seems a little more excited than usual, but Toma is acting like he always does. I wonder what the school festival is going to be like. I wouldn't take him as the kind of guy who would get excited over that sort of thing. And what the heck? Why is the chapter over already? It was like freaking five minutes. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and read the next chapter because that was way too short. It's the day of the school festival. Wow, just look at that sky. Such a beautiful day for the school festival. Alright, let's do our best today. Ooh, pretty. I head to the tea room's venue and see that there are already long lines. Wow, it really is popular. What are you staring at? You! Look at you standing there in front of that arch. If only it was a little more clear, it would be nicer. But you fit there nicely. Oh, Toma, I was just thinking that there are so many people here. Did you forget that we're about to serve these customers? That's right. Toma is his usual self. Does he just not get excited? <laughs> not about something like this. Well, I'll get things ready then. It turns out they needed me to do more than just help prepare. They needed a hand in the kitchen, too. It's exactly like the nightclub. I would have liked to have been able to come to the tea room as a customer. I'll help. Toma follows me like it's nothing special. Something about that makes me happy, and I cast my head down to hide my smile. Aw, oh, why hide it? I guess this is what they call an extreme rush. It's been two hours since the tea room opened. But the lines aren't getting any shorter. They're actually getting longer. Serve faster, people! Serve faster! Drink faster! Get out of here! Even when we're enforcing a time limit, it seems like we'll run out of food before everyone can be served. That's okay, they can just feast their eyes on the men. But we ordered so many tea leaves and desserts. Are you ready for the next order? Oh yes! Could you just write it down there? You're behind. I had to change things over just now, but don't worry, I'll catch up with the order soon. Ah! Huh. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Minokawa leans against the counter and lets out a big sigh. Everyone's just reaching out to touch me. It's like I'm on display. Are you getting groped like a barmaid, Minokawa? 
It's th that bad? I wonder how we could get them to stop. Maybe it's because you run away. <laughs> so if he just stays there and stands his ground, they'll stop. You have to put up signs. No molesting the servers. Oh, that's true. You just want to chase after someone when they run away. I don't know if that's going to change my mind. Then maybe you could allow for pictures. Like a selfie with the customer. I feel like people would be pretty satisfied with that. I see. I'll go talk to them about it. Minakawa nods and goes off to talk it over with the other staff members. Wait, but maybe we'll get busier because it's extra work. It is far better than getting groped. <laughs> I was getting groped. <laughs> oh, I guess that's true. I hand Toma his order, and he walks away dashingly. He has such a good gait. Pictures, huh? I wonder how that'll work out. It might make the lines get longer because it takes so long. I hear the sound of cameras going off. As soon as we lift the ban on photos, they become engrossed with taking them. Minakawa, look this way! Kakarasaka, smile! Takizawa, Yamaka, can you get closer together? Kamiki, can we see your smile? Everyone seems pretty nervous, but Toma... Toma, can you look this way? Over here, too! Toma silently complies with all of their requests. He is used to having his picture taken. Toma is so pretty. It's like he doesn't stop moving, but it's easy to tell when to take the photo. Tomo returns to the back, weaving in and out of the tables. He's a professional, all right. Toma? Two cream sodas. Also, you're staring too much. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that you move so gracefully. What? That <laughs> made him blush. I tell him how I feel, and Tomo averts his eyes. Wait, is he... embarrassed? The other guys just aren't used to it. I've had experience. Right, as a model. He must be used to having his picture taken. Your posing is so amazing. It's like someone could take a picture of you at any moment, and it would turn out perfect. I never liked getting my photos or videos altered while I'm being filmed. Wow, professionals are so impressive. It's really not that big a deal. The work is all about being mindful of your appearance. What is it, Toma? He seems to be staring off at something in the distance, so I grab him by the arm and ask him curiously. But not the heart. Toma looks at the students holding their cameras and falls silent. I tilt my head to try to see his face. He's back to his old cold expression. Toma? It's nothing. I'll go back to join them in the photo taking. Hmm. Huh, <sighs> I'm exhausted. I feel more tired now than I do after I'll work at the nightclub. There's still some cleaning up left to do, but I just collapse onto the chair. So many different kinds of people came. I feel like every single female student made sure to come, though. In the end, we eventually had to turn people away because we ran out of food. Everyone seemed so disappointed. They weren't even here for the food. Well, it can't be helped. There's only so much we can handle. That's true. Toma, good work today. You too. I'm so happy to hear him say it. I feel as though it sends a surge of energy through my tired body. Am I too simple? Oh, do you want something to drink? Although, the only thing we have is water. You must be tired too. Why don't you take a break? Yeah, thanks. I'm so happy with the occasional kindness he shows me. I think I'm going to go crazy. I feel my cheeks grow hot. I hide my cheeks when I hear the sound of a camera and turn my attention toward it. I guess there are still some girls taking pictures. Just how many pictures do they need? I think... I can understand where they're coming from a little bit. You can. Why? Hmm, well, I'm not sure how to answer that. Maybe because if they have a memory of today in their cell phone, they can look back on it any time they want. Hmm. Tomo brings a finger up to his chin and thinks to himself. If it were me, I'd like to keep this moment in my cell phone. Well, not that I could. Do you want to take a picture? What? You're kind of putting me on the spot. Although I'm happy he is. Don't ask for anything more that is the correct... Yeah, why would I call everyone over? I want a picture with just us, of course. I can't ask for anything more. 
I get to be closer to him than everyone else. That will have to be enough for me. It's not that I'm special. It's just dumb luck that I've gotten to know Toma. So many people admire Toma and the others. That's okay. You really are strangely modest. R really Although, that's not altogether a bad thing. Do you want a memory with me? Yes, please! Desperately. That's not it. Then I'll take a picture for you. Hmm? What does he mean by that? Oh, so cute! That's adorable. And he looks awesome in that picture. Come on, girl, you gotta pull a better face than that. Don't move. Why? Because the picture will be blurry. Instead of answering me, Toma brings his face right next to mine. What? His face is so close. I'm too nervous to move. Good, you're not supposed to move. Toma's handsome face is close. I can also smell him. I become more and more nervous. As I stand there petrified, Toma brings his phone up in front of his face. What? Um... Say cheese. Cheese. Toma asking me to say cheese is kind of funny. Then I hear a familiar sound. Wait, no way! I become confused. I'm unable to process what's just happened. Did he just take a picture? I... I wasn't even posing. What did you think he was doing? Seemingly satisfied with the picture, Toma's smiling as he looks at the screen. Let me see. What kind of face am I making? A terrible one. Curiously, I come up behind to take a peek, but Toma covers it with his hand. What? Why are you hiding it? I'll send it to your phone later. No, you won't. Because you know I'll tell you to delete it because I'm making a weird face. Toma puts away his phone. Um, you won't show it to me now? We have to clean up. Yeah, trying to distract me. Toma makes a teasing face before he leaves. I didn't think I'd be able to take a picture with Toma. But I wonder why he suggested it. I'm a little embarrassed, but now I have a memory for today, if he bothers to send it. I stand up enthusiastically and begin to clean up. After the school festival, Minakawa gathers everyone from the nightclub together. It seems they had a competition to see who got the most requests from the students at the tea room. When did they tally that all up? Well, without further ado, here are today's rankings. Starting with third place, it's Wataru, who is placing for the first time. Yay! I'm glad I asked my class to come. Second place is Renji. What? Then who's first? Kamiki seems surprised, as if he were expecting to finish first. He probably was. Well, Kamiki is routinely first at the nightclub, so it makes sense he'd feel that way. First place is... Toma! Okay. He's <laughs> like, just totally unsurprised. Just, whatever. Okay, come on. You could be a little more enthusiastic. Aren't you happy that you're first, Toma? I'm not unhappy. <laughs> Everyone laughs as Minakawa isn't satisfied with Toma's tepid response. They start to talk and joke around. Toma quietly separates himself from the circle. Toma, congratulations on finishing first. Thanks. Do you think it's because the photographs were such a big hit? That would be good. I'll need to strive for something bigger and better, though. Yes, I'm cheering you on, I say, and Toma gives me a faint smile when looking at me. Just me? What? I'd like you to be clear on that. W well how am I supposed to answer that? I can't just tell him that I mean only him. Yeah, you can. Easily, just say it. You can't cheer everyone on equally. Only one of us can be first. Well, conversely, that's not true either. <laughs> it could be that I'm not interested in any of you, or maybe I'm interested in all of you. That's true, but... Toma's never been so frank before. I find myself torn. Does that mean you can't say for sure? In that case, why don't you go join everyone else? Come on, give in to the guy. He's saying it's him or everyone else. Is it just my imagination, or is he sulking? Yep, he's sulking. Give him what he wants. As much as he's putting me on the spot, I actually find myself happy, and I can't stop myself from smiling. That's kind of cute. I might not be able to only cheer for you, but I'm going to stay here because I feel like being by your side right now. Do whatever you want, then. Okay.
Okay. As I nod, I start to feel it's possible that the day will come when I will only be cheering Toma on. Why can't it be now? Yeah, those two combined rather nicely into one video then. I wonder how long the rest of them are going to be. Ah, what a horrible arm. No, okay, I had to click for the next line because... Ah, okay. The sound of my alarm clock fills the room. It's already morning. Okay, there we go. Now, the rest is going to be in the next video. I just could not leave that alarm ringing for my ending of this video. And then to start the next video with that alarm, I can't, couldn't do it. Had to skip a line. <laughs> so sorry about that. Anyway. <laughs> it's so obvious at that line, that last thing there. It was so obvious that he was trying to get us to admit our feelings toward him. Although, you know, he could actually say something a little more forward first. I think that was forward enough, really. It was enough. We're just, you know, too clueless to pick it up, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> hope to see you in the next video or any of my other ones. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.